Add to that damning report that has branded English cricket as racist, sexist and elitist. It's told the sport it must reform now. More than 4,000 people contributed to the Independent Commission for Equity in Cricket's report, half of them declaring their experience discrimination within the game. The ECB offered an unreserved apology and not long ago England captain Ben Stokes made a statement on the report's findings. To the people involved in the game who have been made to feel unwelcome or unaccepted in the past, I'm deeply sorry to hear of your experiences. Cricket is a game that needs to celebrate diversity on all fronts because without diversity this game would not be where it is at today. As a sport we need to learn from past mistakes and do all we can to make people feel safe and be themselves at every level. I have been an England player since 2011 and I feel very fortunate to have been a part of some incredibly diverse teams and love how everyone has a different story to tell. We must go further and be more inclusive and diverse because the game I love and the millions worldwide love should be enjoyed without fear of discrimination or judgment, whether that be due to your upbringing, race or gender. As I said earlier, everyone has a different story to tell. I am Ben Stokes, born in New Zealand, a state educated pupil who dropped out of school at 16 with one GCSE in PE. I needed help with the spelling and grammar in this speech and I am currently sitting here as the England men's test captain. It is clear there is so much more the game has to do and as players we really want to be a part of that to ensure that this is truly a sport for everyone. Well, the report delivered a number of key findings including racism being entrenched in cricket with the game's structures leading to racial disparities and discrimination said that women are marginalised, routinely experience sexism and misogyny, with the women's game treated as subordinate to the men's game. The report also highlighted class discrimination, found that there was little to no focus on addressing class barriers in cricket, with private schools dominating the talent pathway. It's also critical of the current complaint system, branding it confusing and not fit for purpose. The Holding a Mirror Up to Cricket report was uh, commissioned more than two and a half years ago in response to the murder of George Floyd in police custody and the Black Lives Matter movement. Former head of the Independent Police Complaints Commission, Cindy Butts, served as the report's chair and explained the shocking extent of the commission's findings, a warning the following contains examples of incidents that some may find upsetting. I think they were deeply shocked at the extent and the kinds of things, the examples that people were talking about. Muslim, former Muslim player who had alcohol poured over him, bacon sandwiches thrown at him, young black girl in the talent pathway who at the age of 15 was told by grown men to go back to where she came from, called the N-word. Women who talked about entering the score box only to be confronted with images that said no bras allowed in the score box. I mean, this is 2023, not 1923. They were shocked. And dare I say, I and my commissioners, we were shocked too. This isn't just about interpersonal discrimination. This is also structural. Uh, so we found what we were surprised to find, which was the, the inextricable way in which private schools are bound up with the talent pathway within cricket. You know, the connections between counties and private schools, the coaches who coach in private schools, but also coach in the, within the talent pathways and how much advantage that gives uh, to private school students, you know, the fact that there is so little access to cricket in state schools. And some of the, I guess, some of the discrimination that is class-based, we were surprised to hear of as well. 50% of people who responded and said they faced discrimination talked about discrimination, often white uh, respondents, discrimination based on their class, being called peasants, separated into teams of chavs and 
public school boys. Cricket needs to accept the stark realities that this report reveals. And I think if it does that, and I'm hopeful that it will, I think there are many people within cricket who work hard, who want to see positive change. I think if it takes the opportunities that this report represents, I think it, I think it can get to where it wants to be, which is to be inclusive and to be a sport for all. Well, the findings of the report prompted the ECB to apologise. Their chair, Richard Thompson, told us it was shocking to hear what people had experienced. On behalf of the ECB, on behalf of the broader game, we certainly apologise to anybody that has felt excluded or discriminated against. Um, and reading those lived experiences clearly was very shocking to read what people have experienced in a way that they should never have had to have done. These things exist in all sports. Cricket was brave enough to show real leadership and commission this report in the first time. No one asked cricket to commission this report. This is why it's taken two and a half years to bring this report about. Sometimes when you look in the mirror there are things there that you don't like the look of and, and certainly we need to address this now. We could look back or we could look forward. I think now we have a predominantly independent board. The structures are very different to the structures that existed then. I think we can focus now uh, with real optimism and our ability to bring about real change. When I became elected 10 months ago, I made a very clear and unambiguous uh, recommendation that I wanted cricket to become the country's most inclusive sport. This, resport, this report, I think, will help that happen now. It will accelerate that change, um, where I believe cricket reaches communities that no other sport does, that should be our superpower and not become a weakness. So I believe now that we will really go about that change with real gusto. Is this English cricket's biggest day of shame? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's the start of a new beginning. And I think we will use this report to create the start and the all-inclusive game that I certainly want for English cricket. And you can read through the full findings from the report online. Scan this QR code on your mobile device and it will take you straight to them.